sliced fruit. As morning dew glazed across cracked bottles and torn plastic and uncultivated soil. In a cramped space rumbles an appetite deep inside section 8 housing beneath a rusted ceiling with iron tears and a quivering pit bellows off the cliff notes to God. Here lies a brown boy who awakes to a moldy frost setting into his bones. The third morning this week he struggled to climb out from his weeping puddle, search through rubble for watered ground to plant his weary feet. It's them pieces of watching your best friend head explode in front of him. The sight, mind blowing to say the least, don't you think? With scrawny shoulders and sinking faith, this brown boy carries 17 caskets and unfinished homework on his back as he drags himself through a thick cloud of purple smoke to stagger down a condemned pathway to the end of your classroom cup in a black hooded sweatshirt made obituary there in the corners where he fold crumble at each tick of that clock knowing that in here or out there on that block we waste where the living usually forgets about the dead. Is that why these teachers don't see us? If metallic locks and slave ships is the only things planned in your lessons, then how can you free us? How can you reach us with firm grip if your hands are full with holding on to Eurocentric lectures? Treat us absent when you don't feel connected to our presence. Can't call on raised heads of ghosts so we float. Hallway glide to dark at locker room gatherings for posts. We host school grounds as purgatory. Pretend that the diploma will exempt us from a white man's gun. Street sweep this poverty, teach us back our native tongues. Like really though, like really know the people you're supposed to be serving. Or is it that you do know? And you are afraid of our awakening? Well either way I am that brown boy. Each morning someone likes me enters your classroom. Outside of school hours is a prison cell in an early grave being carved and dug to stack profit when brown bodies decay. Your empathy will carry me a long way. But tell me how is your sorries gonna save me? Uh.